Hey, what's going on you guys? It's uh, Star Wars Dojo here today with a brand new video. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Um, today, we're going to be going over Star Wars news. I know I haven't posted in a little while. Um, I missed all the episodes of The Bad Batch. I just had a lot of family stuff going on, so I couldn't um, get time to actually make videos for those. Um, but I promise I will do videos on uh, the future TV shows for Star Wars that come out in Season 2 of Bad Batch and everything, of course. And... Uh, but yeah, let's get into the, uh, the Disney and uh, Star Wars related news at all. Um, it's pretty exciting. Uh, we're just going to go over that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right. First thing, um, a Lego Star Wars Halloween special is coming out in October. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. It's going to be very similar to the Lego Star Wars holiday special that came out last year. Um, I really loved it because they made a lot of jokes about the sequels, which I'm not a big fan of the sequels, and if you are, that's good for you, um, you know, but I wasn't too big of a fan of the sequels, um, but they make some funny jokes in there, and it was really good for, um, you know, a Lego Star Wars movie, you know, for a uh, Christmas thing. Um, so it says, after the events of the Rise of Skywalker, Poe and BB-8 must make an emergency landing on the volcanic planet Mustafar where they meet the greedy and convincing Gabriella the Hutt. Uh, or Grabella the Hutt, Disney explains it in its new press release. The crime lord has taken ownership of Darth Vader's castle with plans to turn it into the galaxy's first all-inclusive uh, all inclusive Sith-inspired luxury hotel. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, venturing into the Vader's fortress, Poe and Vene, Vanay, the Dark Lord's servant who first appeared in 2016's Rogue One, Vanay shares the three creepy stories linked in ancient artifacts and iconic villains from all across eras of Star Wars. As Vanay spins his tales and lures our heroes deeper into the shadowy underbelly of the castle, a sinister plan emerges. That sounds pretty interesting. Um, with Ben Solo being redeemed and nowhere to be found after his sacrificial death, at the end of episode 9, it seems likely that Vinay's tale of Ren will focus on Solo's one-time mentor and his mysterious knights. Um, um, but the ghost story potential in a setting like Vader's castle is exciting, and last year's holiday special set a pretty high bar. I, I definitely agree. It put a very high bar. I really enjoyed it. So that's something to look, oh. so that's something to look forward to um, this Halloween, is... Uh, yeah, I, I think that might be Kylo Ren's hand. Um, if they're talking about Knights of Ren and everything like that, I think that might be Kylo Ren. Um, but I don't know. Into the next news. Um, Disney announces Season 2 of Star Wars The Bad Batch. Um, it will be coming out in 2022, I believe, uh, spring of 2022. Um, uh, let's see here. Or no. No, I don't think it's... I think it just will come out sometime in 2022. Um... But yeah, I'm really excited about that. I know the uh, last episode of The Bad Batch came out uh, a couple days ago. It was, I, t me personally, I really liked it a lot. Of, I know a lot of people didn't. Um, I do kind of agree that it shouldn't have been a, uh, you know, um, season finale. But I do think it was very good. It was the music was amazing. The scenes, uh, their animation is just so on point. It's really good looking, and I like how the story is developing, and it's uh, turning out really good in my opinion. Um, but obviously some people don't like it and that's okay. I think it could have been much better off as a like normal episode rather than a season finale because the part one was much better than the part two. If you guys haven't seen The Bad Batch, I definitely recommend going and watching it. It's a great show. Um, kind of fills in that gap between, um, you know, episode three and four and it, it's really cool. Um, next on the list, um, ooh, the Disney Star Wars Galactic Cruiser Hotel that will be coming in uh, spring 2022. Um, it's up to six grand for a two-day stay. Um, here's what you need to know: According to Disney World website, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is nothing else that you've ever experienced. Part live, uh, immersive theater, part themed environment, part culinary extravaganza, part real-life role-playing game, and yet so much more. That's pretty cool. But it'll cost you and might even have some penny-pinching travelers pleading. Um, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Um, so far, it looks pretty cool. Um, a lot, I know a lot of controversies going on um, about the pricing. So I know for four guests... Okay. Uh, vac uh, vacationing in space comes with 
an out of this world price tag ahead of opening Disney a shared sample um, or <clears throat> sample standard cabin rates for two guests per cabin rates are at $1,209 per guest per night um, so $4,809 total three guests in one cabin two adults and one child are looking at $899 per guest per night with a total of $5,299 while four guests per cabin Three adults and one child can expect to pay $749 per guest per night and a total of $5,999. Disney noted that rates vary depending on the voyage departure rate dates as well as the number of guests in the cabins and the cabin type. That is insane. Almost $6,000, basically $6,000 when you round up tax and everything for a family of four to go into a hotel where... As far as we know, you get a lightsaber and a robe, and there's some role-playing experiences. They don't tell you really anything else besides that. And there's also um, interviews where they talk about um, that it has the best technology um, out of any uh, th anything in the theme parks in Disney at all. So there's other interviews out there that basically where Disney explains that this is the most high-tech um, technology um, experience that they have yet to di at Disney or that they will have at Disney and you know, they say it's better than the Rise of Resistance ride um, which is really exciting and I hope that's one thing that really excites me that would be willing to go and do it um, but it is too it is too expensive for me um, let's see uh, Halicon Star Cruiser features 100 cabins and suites of views of space including the standard cabin um, Galaxy Class Suite Suites uh, Sleep 4 Passengers And the Grand Cabin Suite Sleeps 8 Passengers Wow um, Obviously I think It's going to be More expensive Oh okay So it looks like There's going to be Some sort of Cool looking uh, Entertainment um, Or activities And stuff like that um, Like lightsaber Deflecting And stuff like that That's really cool Or deflecting Blaster bolts And stuff like that um, And there's another thing where you can only stay two days and you have to leave at the second day. You have to go to another Disney resort or go home. They don't want you staying there more than two days at a time, which is crazy. And I don't know how people would be able to afford to stay there more than two days if it's $5,000 for, you know, four people to go. And it's, so it's basically if you go with a group of four friends, it's going to be $1,200 each. And that is really expensive. Um which is nuts and they don't really tell you anything else after that it's ridiculous um and they're already taking reservations and people are buying these reservations for this galactic star cruiser hotel for six thousand dollars it, it's it's crazy i don't know how you know middle or lower class people are going to be able to afford this it seems like a only for the upper class to be able to afford this and i'm sure prices will go down later on longer the more amount of time that it's open and everything like that but that is insane um but yeah anyways guys if you uh enjoyed the video please leave a like please subscribe tell me what your thoughts are in the comments um and i guess i'll see you guys later i'll be posting um star wars dojo videos on every thing every friday i'll be posting star wars dojo video every friday um for the, every week and then on my Grotix YouTube channel, um, I'll link it in the description, but I'll be posting gaming videos, uh, a gaming video and one unanimous random video every single week. So two videos a week on that channel and one video a week on this channel. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, um, like I said, hit the like button and I will see you guys later. And may the force be with you always.